This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. To give you a, an historical perspective on this issue, we also have the great pleasure today to hear from someone who I think really deserves the, the mention as a living legend. Um, he, uh, Walter Munch, is uh, not only an esteemed uh, oceanographer, um, the surfers, by the way, just think he is God because he actually made it possible for them to determine when the surf is going to be high and when it's not. And Walter is going to uh, give us a few remarks, especially about the historical perspective of, of this issue. Not surfing, but about uh, climate. <laughs> Dr. Monk. <laughs> Thank you. I came to Skip the first time in summer 39 when I was a graduate student at Caltech. I was dating a girl from Skip's college whose grandparents lived in La Jolla, and I needed a job here so, so I could see her during the summer. <laughs> Harald Sverdrup, a famous North Pole explorer, was director. Roger Rebell had just received his PhD. The total number of people here, personnel, including the gardener, was 15. <laughs> it's changed by two orders of magnitude since Margaret came. And uh, Roger was aware even then of the uh, climate problem and by some well-known perturbations of the Earth orbit, it was predicted that we would enter another ice age in 20,000 years. And we're still going to enter another ice age in 20,000 years. And the joke was going around, wasn't it clever of us, clever of population, to emit some carbon dioxide into the atmosphere <laughs> to keep us from entering another ice age. The only problem is we've overshot. <laughs> this is not the first time that the different campuses of the University of California have worked together to do an absolutely essential job. In 1940, oh, I'm sorry, in 1941, President Sproul uh, formed the University of California Division of War Research, UCDWR, with three campuses participating, the only three available at the time, Berkeley, UCLA, and Davis. And we here in San Diego participated in a very important way. I, my homeland is Austria, and my stepfather was part of the Austrian government, the Schuschnigg government, which had been deposed by Hitler by the time. I was very much disturbed by that. And so I joined the ski troops at Fort Lewis, Washington, to participate in what I thought would be the oncoming conflict. It turned out that I'd served for about a year and a half by 41, and there had been no participation in the European scene. Germany had overrun most of Europe, 
and uh, the German submarines were sinking Allied shipping that was bringing very much needed supplies to Europe. And this particular UCDWR was formed to do something about this very, very difficult problem. And I want to remind you that our, at the time, our ideas as to what to do about it were very, very much mixed, not at all clear. And some people even thought it was impossible to do anything about it. But I remember those. And, and, and so Roger Rebell asked for me to be discharged. I'd done some work in oceanography. And after 18 months of service, I came to join the UCDW our effort here in San Diego. We would meet daily at Point Loma at the US Navy Radio and Sound Laboratory and work on the problems of anti-submarine warfare. Uh, Harold Sverdrup was in formal charge of a small Scripps group, and Roger Revell, Lieutenant J.G. Revell, was a member who'd asked me to join that group. And we worked very hard. I think back of that period with great pleasure. We all worked together. There was no question that the job needed to be done. We had a joint effort and worked together. And the incredible thing is, this was 1941, that three and a half years later, we landed in Normandy. Just remember that. This, we, 10, year, 20, 10 years seems a very short time. At that time when UCDWR was formed, we had no idea what we were going to do. And we changed from being in a very, very difficult decision to landing in Normandy in three and a half years. I'm still amazed how quickly things changed. So I really want to just welcome this group. I'm so happy to be a member of it. I'm inspired by the goals, and I hope we can all work effectively together to do something about it. It's a job about as difficult or maybe more difficult than the one we faced in beginning in 1941. Thank you.